Hey, hey friends, it's Cory from Hey Let's Make Stuff, and today I have a very quick Cricut Design Space tutorial for you. We are going to learn how to use Flatten. Flatten is a tool specific to using Cricut's Print Then Cut feature, which means it's only available on Cricut Maker and Cricut Explore machines because Cricut Joy machines don't have Print Then Cut. Um, you can find the Cricut um, Flatten tool down here at the bottom. It's this little one that says Flatten at the bottom of the Layers panel. Um, let's go ahead and dive in and learn how to use it. So here we are on a Cricut Design Space canvas. I've actually already pulled the images I'm going to use for this project. Um, over here I have a circle just from the Shapes panel. Um, I've made it kind of a light pink color. And then over here I have a Happiness is Homemade um, file, which if you look over here in the Layers panel, you can see is a bunch of different cut layers, and the circle's also cut. Now, instead of wanting to maybe cut this in cardstock and try and glue all of these little pieces to the circle or cut it in iron on and iron on it in three different layers, um, we can make a print then cut image, which is much easier than trying to do those other things. A few things you need to know about flattening. Um, the first is that you can't flatten a single shape. So if I just wanted to flatten and print this circle, the flatten button is still grayed out. Um, technically, you should be able to pr um, print this circle, though. So if you want to actually print just a circle, a single layer, or whatever you have that's not more than one layer, if you go up to operation and change it to print then cut, then you can print that circle. The second is, if you have an image like this and you want to, say, cut it out on a circle, if you flatten it as is, it will flatten each individual piece. Let me hide this image here. Um, when you go to print this, it will actually print each individual line, and then your Cricut is going to try and cut around each individual letter here. So if you ever had that happen when you're trying to print then cut, it's because you need to put an image like this on top of a background, which is why we're going to be putting it on this circle here. So to do this, all you have to do is layer them on top of one another, like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up here and use the align tools to center. Um, that way I know that my image is centered. Let's bring it over here in the center. And then you select both the circle and the image and click flatten over here at the bottom of the layers panel. Now you'll notice that all of the black lines went away. This is one of the ways that Cricut Design Space shows you that it's a print then cut image. Um, it also says print then cut up here in the, um, up here in the uh, layers panel actually a little bit large um, for a gift tag, so let's go ahead and make it quite a bit smaller. And then when you click make it over here, instead of seeing your normal Cricut mat with the image directly on the mat, you'll see that there's um, a white piece of paper here. When I click continue, Cricut Design Space is going to prompt me to actually print this on a eight and a half by 11 sheet of printer paper or um, sticker paper or whatever sort of printable material you want to put in there. I have a video coming up on how to use print then cut in full um, and I will go into all of these details like what are these black boxes and you know how do you do all of this um, but for now this is basically just to show you how to use flatten to create this image that you are then going to print with your printer. And that is basically it. Um, using flatten is very easy um, and it is primarily used for print then cut. Like I said I'm working on a print then cut tutorial so once I have that I will link it in the description um, but for now if you have any questions about the flatten tool go ahead and leave those in the comments. Um, I hope you like this tutorial and found it helpful and I'll see you next week.